Hi, I'm Charlie Kasov. I'm a math teacher, and today we're going to learn what the advantages are of using the Kelvin scale. So Kelvin, along with Fahrenheit and Celsius, are measurements of heat. And Fahrenheit is probably the most uh, ineffective or unuseful. Celsius is somewhat useful, and Kelvin is the most useful. Fahrenheit, you have 32 degrees for freezing, and you have 212 for boiling of water. So that's not easy to remember. Celsius is very Earth-centric because water is the most abundant, abundant mineral on Earth, or not mineral, but substance, uh, and zero is freezing, and 100 is boiling. So that's nice and easy to remember. But you still have negative numbers, and absolute zero is negative 273, which is very hard to remember. So Kelvin is best for astronomy, and if we all thought in terms of Kelvin, it would be very useful, but it's hard to. Uh, Kelvin zero degrees is absolute zero. So that means that when motion or heat and en kinetic energy stops, that is zero degrees. One degree is very little, two degrees is a little bit more, and on upwards. So for astronomers who are measuring things in the universe that there's no water, so zero and a hundred don't matter, Kelvin is the best. Pretty much for any science that is outside of the Earth, Kelvin is the most useful measurement. So I'm Charlie Kasov, and you just learned the advantage of using the Kelvin scale. Thanks a lot.